Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, hopefully this is going to be a big treat. Uh, the Yeti beers, and they make a bunch of different variations of them, guys. To me, it has a little heavy on the hot bitterness. And what Beer Advocate is telling me, uh, this thing has 75 IBUs, which is a lot of IBUs. Uh, I personally think they could use some lactose in their brewing. And I said that... Uh, not long ago on one of the other Yeti beer. I think it was the Oak Age, Oak Age version of, of a 2012 or a 2014 edition I'd been selling. I, I've been selling this one for a while. I bought this one. This is a 2010 edition. So it's approximately nine years old. I don't know when in the year or how many times during the year that they produce this beer. But this is, I've had this one in the fridge for a long, 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 long time. 2010 edition and I bought this beer long 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 time ago and it's been downstairs in the salary and fridge ever since so we're going to see how well it's cellared and uh, see if it's still just as bitter as the most of the other ones that i've had and i still have a little 12 ounce bottle i think of this but i think it's a different year than the 2010 uh so we're gonna we're gonna see uh how how it's done but i found this version the yeti beers no matter which whether it's oak age, regular, or whatever, to be a little on the heavy side on the bitterness. Um, after drinking milk stouts, uh, they seem to be a little more pleasant uh, to drink. But if you like that big bitterness in your stout, this is maybe one you'd want to pick up because they, to me, are known for having a little too much bitterness for this style of beer. But it all depends on what you like. So let's get on with this one here, guys. We're going to jump over to Untapped. They don't have a commercial description here, 9.5%, and, and they don't have the IBUs, but Beer Advocate in their commercial description says it weighs in at a heavy 75 IBUs. It says, yeah, the Imperial Stout is onslaught on the senses. It starts with big roasty malt flavor that gives way to a rich caramel and toffee notes. Yeti gets its bold hop character from an enorm enormous quality of American hops. And it goes to list 2005, 8, 9, uh, Great American GABF, Great American Beer Festival, Silver, Bronze, Silver, Medals, and uh, 2010 Beer Advocate Top 100 Beers on the Planet Earth, and they come in at number 36. Pretty pretty good accolades uh, for the beer, but uh, like I said, I find it a little on the heavy side on the bitterness, but it all depends on what you like and what you like to drink and where your palate is at the time. So, with that being said, that's all we need to talk about, so let's get this big 22-ounce bomber opened up and see what we have nice hiss just a tad of smoke coming out guys we're going to go straight down the center on this one it is pitch black coming out of the bottle looks like it's producing a nice brown khaki colored head and that's it that's about all the head we need on that aggressive pour almost two fingers of head on that straight down the center pour good looking beer nice tight bubbles around the side a lot bigger bubbles on the top from that aggressive pour over into the light there is none guys it is pitch black good looking beer to the nose we go very typical smell from this series of beers from these guys nice roasted malt has some i'd say very pertinent very evident uh, bitterness on the nose maybe some bittersweet chocolate or something in there uh, they don't use any chocolate in the brewing of this and this is not a, any kind of oak or age version other than aging in the refrigerator for approximately nine years maybe a hint of some caramel and toffee some black molasses <sighs> smells pretty good 
Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. To me, it's not quite as bitter as the oak age version was. But the bitterness is there, but it's not overpowering like I thought it was in the oak age version. Roasted malt, hints of caramel, toffee, molasses, maybe a hint of bittersweet chocolate. Alcohol is super well hidden with that big two fingers of head. It's leaving nice lacing every time I've taken a sip. Very nice. To me, this is a little easier drinking than the Oak Age version. It's not quite as bitter to me. So, uh, but it's right out of the fridge. Let's uh, let's sip on it for a little bit and uh, let it come up to room temperature and let's see what we end up with. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sitting on it about 45 minutes or so. To me, this is a little easier drinking than the Oak Age version. I mean, the Oak Age version was just way over the top bitterness. This one doesn't seem to be quite as bad. It's still a little on the bitter side, but not as bad as the Oak Age version. Uh, I don't know if selling it for nine years over what I sellered the last one had anything to do with it. I kind of doubt it. Uh, this one just seems to be not as bitter. So uh, I find it a little more enjoyable to drink than the Oak Age version was. Uh, oak Age is not barrel aged, it's just probably done with oak spirals, more than likely. Uh, so, uh, I enjoyed this one a little bit more, guys. I, I did, I have to be honest with you. Uh, it's a very nice Imperial Stout. So, with that being said, let's do the final chug on this one. Still, still smells kind of bitter on the nose, but it's not quite as bad on the taste. Seems to be just a, a tad smoother than the Oak Age version. So, very pleasant and it has sold very well. I don't know if it would have been more bitter fresh than it is now. I'm just giving you my comments on what this one is for a 2010 edition. Very pleasant. Final chug. Very nice, guys. Uh, I did enjoy this one more than the Oak Age version. I have to be straight up honest with you. But that may depend on where your palate is, what you like to drink. Uh, don't base your decision on whether you're going to buy anything for what I say. What you may love, I may hate. And what I may love, you may hate. So it all depends on what you like to drink and where your palate is and how it appeals to you when you drink it. So, But I'm not sure they even do the... Uh, Yeti and the Bombers anymore. I'm not sure about that. Uh, I think they may have downsized those to 12 ounce bottles now. Probably charging you just as much for the 12 as they did for the 22 or close to it. But uh, anyway, these guys have been dating their stuff for a long, long time. As you can tell, this is nine years old and it has a date on the, right on the label. You haven't got a search on the bottle for black ink on a dark brown bottle with a black beer that you can't see. So I do appreciate them doing that for as long as they have. Like I said, they've been doing it for a long time, probably longer than anybody else has. Uh, but anyway, uh, I find this to be an A beer, and that's what I'm going to give it, 95 right down the middle. I enjoyed it. Very nice beer. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.21 in the exceptional range. Would not argue with that one iota. And final check-in over to Untapped, they have it at 4.1, which is in their a minus range just barely into that I think it's a little better than that uh, so with that being said uh, if you've had the 2010 edition recently let me know what you think until we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge <laughs>